Hi, I just got back from food shopping from Whole Foods in Jericho, and one of the things, actually, I just pulled into my house. One of the things I enjoy is I, I like to treat myself after I eat, I mean after I uh, go food shopping. I like to have, in this case I had a uh, glazed donut, maybe half a glazed donut, and a rebel make maca, maca mocha. So it's a little treat, a little dessert, snack, whatever you want to call it. and. Oftentimes I get some of these really deep insights um, when I'm enjoying myself uh, with uh, such food um, that I'm very grateful for. So one of the things is, you know, I made a post uh, yesterday about donuts and, uh, you know, donuts aren't the most popular food as far as being healthy and, you know, they have their plus and minuses, whatever, but they're delicious. And oftentimes people say, oh, you know, donuts, um, they can cause cancer, or they could be bad for you, whatever, okay? So here's the thing. When uh, you're eating something that, and we all do this, the forbidden foods, you know, foods that are deemed unhealthy um, by, the, by the conventional modes of thinking, let's say, um, by the majority. And, but we eat it because why? Because it tastes good. And for whatever reason, um, we, we, beat up on ourselves about it and what we do is we create this internal conflict where on the surface at the moment we're eating it and it's like oh this is the best it tastes so good oh, oh, oh. but then deep down inside you have the subconscious thinking of well this is really bad for me I feel really guilty uh, I gotta make up for this I gotta work out I gotta you know I'm gonna fast I'm gonna do a detox cleanse or whatever other bullshit so you know, if you ever think about on a physiological or a cellular level what's going on when you have a, a thinking process like that, where you're creating a conflict essentially, and what is a, a, a conflict when you consistently hold on to it, so to speak, and it's always happening when you present yourself with that experience? Well, that's a stress, and as a stressor, it can contribute to increased inflammation, let's say, and that's an increased stress to our immune system, to our whole body, our whole system in general. So, you know, we never really stop and think about these things, okay? And what if you, for example, when I'm eating my donut, I don't really listen to what other people say because I respect what other people say. I respect other people's opinions. But for me, and also I have to let you know I've been doing my work with the capital W, for improving my health or whatever it may be is when I'm eating something that I enjoy and whatever I'm attached to say for example this wonderful glazed donut that Whole Foods gets from this place called Doganic which I can't even find in New York City I don't know I'm gonna find out <clears throat> and and this chocolate goodness coconut milk whatever this thing is with maca okay when I blend those flavors together, and it, it helps create these deep insights, it opens me up spiritually, my third eye chakra, whatever you want to call it. First of all, I respectfully give my middle finger to people that say, oh, this is bad for you, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. That's your opinion. Great. I respect that. Then, what I recommend people to do is to talk to your food whether out loud or just, you know, think about it when you're eating your food, be mindful of it, is, for example, if I'm talking to my food right now, I'm talking to my donut and my coconut chocolate milk, whatever, I understand, I hope you understand that others may not appreciate you or feel the same way or see the goodness that you bring out in me, uh, and I promise that I will take all your goodness everything that you bring out of me, and I will continue your legacy through my thoughts, words, actions, and to help make this a better world. Now, imagine what that's doing to me physiologically and on a cellular level of how much less inflammation and stress I'm creating on my system, on my body, my well-being, as if, oh my God, I ate that donut, I feel so guilty, oh my God, I'm gonna get so fat, I'm gonna get cancer, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. It's bullshit, right? So, my point is, if you like something that's unhealthy, work on that. Enjoy it. Eat it. Honor it. Appreciate it. 
and and you'll you'll be surprised at how quickly things turn around in your life, um, and how much energy you've wasted to some degree, you've invested in creating conflict or internal conflict in your life, that's totally unnecessary, and you can actually uh, improve your health tremendously or significantly just by changing or turning off the switch, so to speak, of your normal subconscious way of behaving and thinking. Okay, it just takes a lot of mindfulness uh, and to be aware of these things. It takes a lot of practice, so it's not going to happen over overnight. Now, I know I post a lot about donuts or pizza or cake, cupcakes or whatever. Keep in mind, full disclosure, I don't eat this stuff every day. I eat it when I want to, but also I keep a little bit more of a balance of other things that I eat and my activity levels. And I take into consideration where am I as far as how much sleep, how much rest, uh, where am I uh, at this moment before I indulge in my in, in, in whatever I'm going to uh, consume. Now, another thing is, is yeah, you can eat whatever you want, but that I didn't say to overeat because overeating is just as bad as having that conflict of this is bad for me, but I'm going to eat it anyway. When you overeat, it's creating an ex extra load on the body, so that's an extra stressor, more inflammation, etc. Right? So uh, let's not let's not bullshit ourselves. Um, you could pray all you want and honor this 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 donut, but if I have like three or four of them in one time, which is way too much for me for my body type, I'm bullshitting myself. So let's just be honest about that. All right? So anyway, I didn't eat the whole donut because I'm really full, and I didn't drink this whole thing because I'm really full. So again, it takes a lot of mindfulness and awareness of these things. Not this bullshit willpower or whatever, you know, that's just more stress on yourself. You gotta be more honest with yourself so that you can uh, be more free. Have a great day.